Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Crisis. We've got some new video footage, but also we're going to be talking about The Flash and Supergirl. They've released some new photos for some upcoming episodes. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is a lot of stuff to get really excited about because we've got our first look at the Anti-Monitor on set. So the Anti-Monitor, if you didn't know, and I have made the mistake I think in the past of, you know, putting the Anti-Monitor in the title, just talking about him, because, you know, when I came to think of it, not everyone has Red Crisis, they don't always know about him. But anyway, so the Anti-Monitor is the villain of Crisis on Infinite Earths. He is in the comics, he's going to be in this, right? So, this is our first look at him, you can see on the screen right here, from Themyscira Bound. All the relevant details will be in the description below, so you can check her out. But anyway, so here he is, it's actually LaMonica Garrett, he's got a lot of prosthetics and makeup on, and his suit is very comic book accurate. This is more like the New 52 version of himself, if you research it online, you will find out the difference. But anyway, so, that's him, this is the first reveal. This is awesome, I think he looks really good, and he looks much better in real life than actually on that poster, because I told you the poster was just pasted on, like, a head and a body, and it looked kind of weird. But, he looks great on set, the costume is really, really good, but the most exciting thing about this, apart from him looking like a white walker or the Night King, is, you can see in this photo, we've got Dreamer, but remember, these are all stunt doubles playing them, so it's not going to look exactly like our actors, because it isn't our actors. So we've got Dreamer, the stunt double for Nicole Maines, and Wild Dog, obviously, Rick Gonzalez's stunt double as well. So he's connected to Y, as you can see, but anyway, so let's move on. So going on from this, and basically, they were filming a massive fight scene for Crisis, and in this scene, we actually have... All of our heroes, I'm talking a shit ton of people, you can see on the screen right now, Themyscira Bound posted this photo of all the cast members, obviously their stunt doubles, running towards the Anti-Monitor, so it's Superman, Supergirl, The Flash, Black Canary, Batwoman, Alex Danvers, Martian Manhunter, Spartan, Dreamer, Wild Dog, and White Canary all running towards the Anti-Monitor. So this is a great photo, obviously it's all stunt doubles, because what happens next, you can see the video right here, it's actually them getting slammed with the anti-monitor hitting his fist into the ground, some sort of pulse wave, and they are all blasted up into the sky, and you can see from this, it's all of them, like, they literally all surround him after they run in, and they get pinged miles into the air. And it's really great. This really, really excites me to show, you know, the power of the anti-monitor. And I feel really bad for these stunt people because they are getting pinged around all over the place. But I just think it's really cool. And so we got some other photos. The Mascara Bound actually posted a closer look and a better look. You see White Canary in this one. You got Dreamer. You got Spartan. But also you've got Supergirl in the back and you know some of them behind the crane but anyway so that's really exciting to see all of them teaming up all together and so additionally going over to Canada Graphs he was able to get a photo of the anti-monitor on set and so just talking about this obviously his stuff will be in the description below Canada Graphs's blog and on Twitter as well you can check him out if you haven't already you just get a full body shot of him you get to see everything and how it all looks it looks really good and very convincing especially on the makeup side like i said the suit is going to be really cool i think it's going to be lit up a bit by some special effects as well you know the sort of wires in his arms you know the chest piece and everything like that yeah so i'm just really excited these looks get me super super hyped about all of this also they released some behind the scenes photos this was Rick Gonzalez, so we got this photo right here with Supergirl and Black Canary, and also this photo right here with Sarah Lance, played by Katie Lotz, in the Arrow Cave, that is actually, so I believe this is all from the Arrow episode. We got John Diggle, played by David Ramsey with Rick, we got Black Canary again as well. So, very exciting stuff, can't wait for Crisis. And now let's move on to talk about The Flash and Supergirl and some of the new photos that have been released for some upcoming episodes. 
So, let's go over to the Flash first. This is for the Halloween episode coming up very, very soon. So, we've got this photo right here. We've got Killer Frost and also Cisco as well. So, it seems like, you know, Caitlyn's probably not going to be around for the next few weeks still. Like, we haven't seen Caitlyn in a few weeks anyway since, like, episode one because Killer Frost is fully taken over. So, kind of curious to see when Caitlyn comes out. And, you know, Killer Frost goes away. What's going to happen with that? Because, you know, we haven't seen her much. So it's kind of strange. Like, has she been on a holiday? Like a vacation? I'm not sure. But anyway, so they're together. That you, They've got, like, a pumpkin and everything like that. So they're celebrating Halloween. And we've got this photo. This next photo. Someone's on the balcony. But Barry seems kind of somber. A little bit sad. And he's with Iris as well. So they're hugging not sure what's happening in this scene but something has just happened also killer frost in her full-on suit so maybe this is a call for the superhero stuff but maybe this is just how she turns up to this sort of halloween party i'm not sure because it says happy halloween in the background and i'm presuming this is at some sort of bar maybe i'm not sure but anyway so let's move on we got Barry and Joe, they're outside, it seems like this is outside of Star Labs, perhaps on the balcony, so they're talking together, Joe seems a little bit sad, but maybe that's just, you know, the photo, and so something has gone down, basically. Okay, The Flash, he is in this place, this Halloween place, so maybe it's actually the same scene as the Killer Frost stuff, maybe they are doing the superhero work and this is not like at star labs or like barry's place or anything like that it seems like more like a hospital and i think this is you know if you remember from the trailer when barry gets smashed against the wall and sort of the electricity goes all over the place i got a feeling this is the scene that we saw in those past trailers so we got another photo you know basically a second after it but it really highlights barry's suit and i think his suit looks really really good in these photos okay so let's move on to talk about supergirl here are some new photos for the upcoming episode that is coming up very very soon and so we got alex we got john and we got supergirl in her new suit obviously i'm not sure where they are there is some sort of screen behind them it's a bit pixelated so maybe it's some sort of exhibition, maybe it's like a cinema, I don't know, it doesn't really look like a cinema, it looks more like an art exhibition maybe. So we got another photo, we got Alex and Supergirl once again. Alex has taken off her black clothing and it's just, you know, her in the orange shirt. So curious to see why she did that. But anyway, so maybe this is actually where Kelly and James are hiding out. Maybe Malafaic has found out because... We've got this photo right here, we've got Alex with Kelly, and Kelly was supposed to have gone away, they were supposed to have not told them by this episode, like, not at all, basically. And so, yeah, I'm curious to see how, you know, they find each other once again. But, the big thing about these photos is, it looks like this is the episode where James is going to be leaving, because we've got this, we go back to the bar, they are back in National City, Kelly and James, we've got Kara, we've got Alex... I think that's Nira as well, and Brainy's there, and it seems like this is them saying goodbye, they are cheersing James, it's obviously focusing on James, and we know that McCard is leaving the show, so I think this may be the episode where they say farewell. And so, moving on to the next photo, still in the bar, we've got a photo of Kara, nice to see her smiling, you know, I feel like a lot of the stuff recently has been very somber, she hasn't really got to smile that much. So that's very exciting to see Kara happy, and I think they're sort of reminiscing on the past, you know, potentially with James leaving, it's going to be quite sad. So we've got this photo right here, we can see, yes, Nia is there, everyone's here, and they're all having a good time at the bar, so yeah. Moving on to the next photo, we've got Kelly and Alex, very happy, so I think this is nearer to the end of the episode, Alex has changed her clothes again from those early photos. So there is definitely a change in time, they are happy, so it seems like Kelly is safe for now. Going to the DEO, we've got Brainy, Supergirl and Jean, they're all together, it seems like they are kind of frantically sort of moving forward, Supergirl looks kind of a bit, you know, intense. And we got this photo in the DEO of Supergirl, of Melissa as Supergirl, and yeah, just a good photo basically showing her suit. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. 
and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see